For 175 years, the Presbyterian College of Education, Akropong Akwapim, has been a beacon of holistic education, a bastion of knowledge, and a foundation of character building. As we celebrate our 175th anniversary, we remember our past, take pride in our present, and look forward to our future. Our journey has been paved with remarkable achievements, evolving facilities, and inspiring stories from our alumni. Each brick in our buildings, each page in our books, and each smile on our students' faces tell a story. The college was established in 1st July 1848. And come 1st July will be 175 years. And we need to tell our story and tell it well. So we are repackaging programs we are having lecture series. We are positioning ourselves such that our achievements from 1848 till now can be told. And everyone who is associated with the college can also share and behold this success that the college has chalked for Mother Ghana, for Presbyterian Church of Ghana, and for humanity. That schooling there really uh, got me satisfied. In fact, it opened uh, a way of life for me. Especially when we came to, Father, my mates and I were all saying that uh, when we studied education, you see, having studied education, we, 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 our minds were broadened, especially child psychology, knowing about the behavior of children and a whole lot. PTC is a college that has seen a number of uh, disciplined people and knowledgeable people. And working there, getting access to records, meeting people connected with the college and so on, it all helped myself to, to shape my own life into have aspirations also for the future. Tagging in your shirt, just talking back to, to your, um, your to the elderly and your seniors wasn't something we were, we were doing in the house. So that as for that discipline, we had it from, and that present discipline was brought to the house. It was beautiful. Because when I was younger, I had said I would either be a teacher, a lawyer, or a journalist. And I think I came by this because I knew I love to talk and I love interaction. So PTC was a natural course for me. My life in a college made it possible for me to understand so many things. And so, when I came back there to teach, I felt I had to render equal service what, what people had done for me. Because of the name of the college, but so uh, if you are teaching there, your reputation, where even people ask where you are and you mention PTC, that alone is something. The impact that that college had on me is one of uh, humility, because uh, knowing what PT, a PTC stood for and stands for. The life of the college is the life of the church. A lot of 
Kenyan language books were written by old boys. And uh, I know one very popular thing they did was a dictionary of Kriga Ewe. Those days when you finished uh, PTC and you are sent to any place, you are given the first option. And because I was from PTC, I was made as a head teacher at my new school, Amuzidai Middle School. The premier university in Ghana is celebrating 75th anniversary, and we are 400 years more than them. So I think uh, PTC, PCE, the college has done a lot for Mother Ghana. The Almighty Himself, those who have been asked to lead this anniversary, so that everything that they plan will be executed. Our journey has been one of honoring our past. We celebrate our present and hope to shape our future. This grand event takes off and unfolds in a series of celebrations that will highlight the college's achievements, showcase its facilities, and show. All right, so a, a beautiful little documentary there on the Presbyterian College of Education. 175 years old. 1848. I, I'm just trying to imagine what life was like in Ghana those days. But 175 years old is a very, very, very long time. I've been joined by some esteemed personalities who have passed through the school and are part of the uh, family of the Presbyterian School uh, College of Education. Um, we have here Ralph Ofe Amo, who is a st uh, student affairs officer with the Presbyterian College of Education. You also have Charles Arthur, the STS coordinator for the Presbyterian College of Education. I'm going to ask him what STS means. And um, Mavis Asantiwa Bano, um, who is going to, she's not going to be talking to us, but she's going to be doing something very special, some sign language. And we'll explain why she's doing sign language on the set this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, you're all welcome. Thank you. All right. Now, um, let's get right into it. So let me start with you, Ralph. Um, do you ever think about it, 175 years old, what life must have been like back then? Can you imagine this? <laughs> it's so amazing. Yeah. It's so amazing that uh, 175 years, mm. I was wondering, you know, the college is the first institution of higher learning in Ghana. Mm and uh, second to Furabe University of uh, uh, Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone, yeah. And I was wondering what the people were doing before the college came. Yeah. And the only institution of higher learning then. So again, I was wondering that after uh, what we call SHS mm, today, mm. middle school or secondary school then, yeah. what were, were the people doing? <laughs> I was wondering. and. <laughs> You know, that is what uh, we are. Mm. And this is how far the Lord has brought us. Yeah. It's so amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's so amazing. Now, um, Charles, we'll get into other conversations. But first of all, establish for us what is STS? Because you are the STS coordinator. Yes. Uh, STS uh, means supported teaching in schools. Okay. Uh, previously called uh, teaching practice. Okay. And um, my unit is uh, in charge of uh, the professional training of the, the students, mm. uh, exposing them to classroom practices okay. uh, where they go to see uh, teachers in action mm. um, so that before uh, finally, they graduate. 
you know, they are properly acquainted uh, uh, with classroom mm. you know, practices. Mm. And uh, it is at the heart of uh, teacher uh, training. training. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that is basically what, what we what do. What you do. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Now, um, <clears throat> there's been a lot of talk recently about the challenges in the teaching space and all of that. I mean, it's not a conversation we can delve into much today, but I just wanted to pick your thoughts on how it is that we seem as a nation to have relegated teacher training to those who are the least uh, capable academically and rather pushed the ones who perform very well in school into medicine, you know, pharmacy, other spaces. Uh, I don't know if you, some of these things ever occur to you and how you feel about it. Yeah, it's true. And I always say that until teaching is made uh, equally attractive, mm. uh, we'll continue to uh, get the the students uh, that have uh, the lowest uh, quality. Mm. Um, so I think the, so the problem starts from the attractiveness of the, yes, of the, the space. The, the, the profession. Yeah, like the what, profession has been what, made. Attractive. What you would become mm. after mm. Mm. Uh, your training. Yeah. So um, in terms of remuneration yeah. and, and, and everything concerning mm. life, mm. I mean, if you rate the, the professions, I mean, teaching is uh, nowhere near mm. the other yeah. you know, professions. Yeah. So, as you rightly said, um, when there are opportunities for people to go into more lucrative uh, yeah. professions, why not? So, it's, it's, it has become something that uh, we need mm. to really uh, uh, wrap our minds mm. uh, uh, around yeah. and uh, resolve. Mm. Uh, other than that, uh, things will remain like this the for a yeah. very long time. Okay. Yeah. Um, let me ask you, uh, Ralph, the uh, 175th anniversary, what are you planning? What are you doing? What, what are we going to experience? We are doing so many things. Uh, it was, I think, uh, a whole year's activity we have carried some of them out already. Okay. And there are yet some more mm. to come. From Monday, there will be a series of activities. We're going to have blood donation okay. uh, to the hospitals up there. Mm. Then we're going to also donate to Com Clinic at Ebury. Mm. Yes, then there's going to be a musical concert. And uh, there will be, you know, candle night procession okay. that would precede the, you know, the ultimate, mm. you know, Deba, mm. which comes off on the Saturday, first okay. July. Mm. Yeah, but there will be exhibition. Uh -huh. we, we, we want to showcase what we have. Okay. And there is a lot to, you know, show the world. Yeah. Yeah. So we invite everybody to come mm. and see what we're not just talking, but see, uh -huh, with their eyes. Talking about. Wanting everybody to come. There's quite a lot of viewers, I'm sure, who don't actually know where Presbyterian College of Education is. Describe it for us. Where are you located? We are located at the Kropon Equiapim, mm -hmm. in the Equiapim North Municipality. Um, it's close to the Omahini's Palace. Okay. Yes, just close to the Omahini's Palace. Mm -hmm. And uh, you drive to Ekropong. Yeah. Yes, and uh, you, come you can't to, miss it actually if yes, you just drive, drive into a Kropon. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you know, uh, everybody will direct mm. you there. You mm. don't need you. You would not find you yeah. know be, be found wanting. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Now, um, there's quite a number of reputable personalities um, that have lived in Ghana and beyond, and still alive in Ghana, who have passed through. Walk us through some of the more notable names. Okay. We can't go through all of them, but just give us a few of the more notable names. All right. You know. I would pick, you know, two of the old ones okay. and continue from there. Okay. 
the father of the current president mm. schooled there. Okay. Then, uh, Honorable Dan Agwedapi. Okay. Yes, uh, former minister for trade and industry yes. under JJ Rollins. JJ Rollins. Yeah. Yes, was also a student there. Okay. And currently, we have one woman at UN, at UNC, uh, NDR, United Nations Committee on, on Persons with Disabilities. Okay. Yes, Madam Gertrude Oforua Fafwame. Yes, I think he was appointed there and was reappointed. Mm. Yes, so he's also there. Then, Professor J.H. Nketia of Blessed Memory. Wow walked through that college wow yes then you go to academia you go to industry media you know there are quite a number of your colleagues mm, too mm. that went through the college yeah and so few names from academia professor edu of ucc okay. professor sekina uew mm. professor brampa knust then two guys at atomic energy doctor okay you know timo and uh, kwating they all walk through the college. Mm. We have guys at the, uh, you know, at the banking and the financial industry too. Price Waterhouse Coopers. Okay. Yes. Uh, Nana AJ in Tiapia, walked, you know, went through the college. Mm. Yes. Then uh, maybe I don't know how to put it, but if you would permit us, just a second in mm. memory, uh, uh, in honor of the memory of one of your colleagues who just passed on from. TV Africa. Okay. Yes, Ablo. Oh, yes. Yes, yeah. Ablo was mm. a year behind me okay. in the college. Niablo. Yes, Niablo. Mm. Yeah, then we have uh, Kwadadi Renchi, formerly of uh, uh, Multimedia mm. and now Max TV. Mm. Yes, they all went through, through the, the college. Yes, they, they all went through wow. the college. Lieutenant Colonel uh, Kwesi Pipra mm -hmm. of the uh, 4th Battalion, Kumasi. Yes, also walked through the college. Yeah. A lot, a lot. If you would permit me, I can list and go. <laughs> well, on I'm and sure on you can list to quite a lot yes. of people yes. who have been through there. Yes. Um, and you're also known as the mother of the Presbyterian schools. Yes. So, so let me ask. So, even Odadie, you precede Odadie. Yes. And so, I see, this is very interesting because. When the when the dead years come on breakfast daily, it's not easy here, <laughs> you know. But you are the parents of That's Odadia. Right. Wow, this is amazing. Okay, so walk us again through some of the things that um, you you have planned to celebrate. I mean, you said you've done some already, and there's some more things to come. Uh, walk us through those things again. Um, what you have planned ahead for the 175th anniversary. Do you want to go, Charles? Oh, oh myself. It, it can take it. Okay. All right. So, as I said earlier, uh, we are giving back to society. Mm. So, we're going to have blood donation. Okay. Uh, and uh, stock the, you know, blood bank of the hospitals up there. Then, we will donate some other items to home clinic okay. at Ebury. Mm. Yes. Then, we're going to have a musical, you know, concert. Mind you, Ifrimamu taught in the college. <laughs> uh -huh. It was there that uh, he was dismissed for wearing cloth yes. throughout the pulpit. Yes. And uh, he sang the song, Obusum uh, Akitere Nambrebre, or the Brebrebe Kodi Ofri. Yes. So we are going to uh, organize a musical concert. And I just mentioned uh, Professor J. H. Nketiah of Blessed mm. Memory. These are, you know, great musical, you know, uh, 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 strong men. Mm. And so we are celebrating. And the college, you know, for, the, for, for, for all these years, at a point in time, represented the entire Eastern region mm. at any choral festival. Hmm. Yes, I can remember NAFAC 97, which okay. happened at Cape Coast. Okay. The college represented the Eastern region for that festival. So we are also noted for music, and mm. there's going to be a musical concert, you know, and then there will be kind of night procession. Then on the D Day, which is Saturday, 1st July. The exhibition. Okay. We're going to exhibit what we have, showcase what we have. People should come and look at them, and you would you would you, you would be amazed to see that uh, mathematics was even taught in Ghanaian language in Chi. And so math was math, taught in math Chi. Is, okay. Whoa. Yes. So do you know the square root in Chi? How do you say square root in uh -huh. Chi? I have no idea. <laughs> hey. Yes. And we have a book there. 
Please say it again. How do you say it? Hey, okay. Right. <laughs> I'm not going to attempt that. <laughs> then don't try. So please come. We have a lot to show you. And that is why we say, you mm. Right. Now, I also want to make mention of this because we see Mavis here on set signing, right? And that your college um, has a very strong emphasis on persons living with disabilities. So just give us a bit of that as well before we wrap Well, up. the current school for the blind at the mm. Groupon mm. started on campus. Okay. Yeah, that is where it started. Mm. Then it was moved to the current, you know, location, uh, location mm. currently. And so they've been with us all through. Okay. And at a point in time, uh, the college decided to, to add those uh, with hearing impairment. Mm. And then so we started giving them admissions. And they've been with us uh, all this while. Mm. So, you know, uh, lecturers or tutors were employed from the other universities to come and teach them. And so they teach not only mm. those with disabilities, but they create the opportunity for all to also learn the sign language. And this lady, you know, signing for us, yeah. yes, is not uh, a person with disability, yeah. but she's comfortably signing. Yeah. And yeah. that is what we do there. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Fantastic. Thank you so much for coming through. Um, any final words uh, from you, Charles? Well, um, 175 years. Yeah. Uh, it's a, a long way. Um, we've been uh, through it all. Uh, when we say the mother of our schools, we are not the mother uh, of the Presbyterian schools. Uh, Alone. No. Yeah. All we've our had a schools. College give birth <laughs> to all the, the colleges <laughs> in the in the country. Mm. Um, Ligon is uh, currently preparing to. Uh, celebrate its uh, 75th yeah. anniversary. You are 100 years older. And we are a century older than older Ligon. Than, than Ligon. <laughs> so when we say we are the mother of yeah. all schools, yeah. actually this is what we we mean. Mm. Um, uh, my brother was, uh, I didn't want to dilute what uh, he had to say <laughs> by coming because he is uh, both uh, and what what uh, Kampu. yes Eddie Kampu, and then a tutor okay so uh, i allowed him to uh, what <laughs> just give you what is a lot of you know people great personalities mm. have gone through the the, the college uh, this uh, this man ye a button mm. who once taught there yeah, UCC. And, and proceeded to become the first yes, vice chancellor of the university UCC, yeah. of cape coast mm. i mean um if, as we speak, the, the college had been granted autonomy to run, you know, its own uh, programs, mm -hmm. it wouldn't be out of place at yeah. all. Because uh, when it <coughs> comes to teaching mm. and, and training of uh, teachers, yeah. I mean, no institution uh, comes okay. near. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, a Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming through, uh, Mr. Charles Arthur, Mr. Ralph Ofe, Amo, Amo. and uh, Amua. That's right. All right. And uh, Madame Mavis Asantewa uh, Bano. Thank you very much for coming through. You're welcome. Okay. Yeah, and Udi Kamfo. Udi Kamfo. Then the response is Yefitite. Yefitite. Yeah, so say it. Oh, say it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, that is right. So we'll be expecting you there. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs>